if you were me, then I'd be you. And I'd use your body to get to the top. You can't stop me no matter who you are. All right, elephant in the room. I'm getting back from a one week suspension due to the video of the frame on screen right here, which as hilarious as it was, was a doctored video. And so being a gentleman of accountability, uh, kind of just took the L on that, you know, kind of relaxed this week. It's been pretty, pretty fun outside of the election, which we are about to get to in a moment. Yeah, yeah boy, uh, just kicked up a few, had a few laughs with a few friends and, you know, relaxed and didn't really put a lot of mental thought into the next video, next video, next video, next video. It was, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice because seriously, seriously, the nonsense that was the New Jersey governor election, it, like, it's not done. They're still counting. As of the recording of this video, the they're still counting up the uh, ballots. And uh, as of the last count that I heard, uh, Governor Phil Murphy has a 65,000 vote advantage over uh, Jack Chitterelli, where... I find it particularly interesting that my home county of Essex was had a was, had a seventy thousand uh, vote swing come last count. Remember, they haven't done all the uh, vote by mails and all the other gravitas. But as I got suspended, to be honest, one of you guys stopped me and you said. Jay, because, you know, I, the way I know most of you is via the real world, all right? YouTube does not push my channel. I'll push my channel in real life, son. So, <laughs> one of you stopped me and you said, hey, what do you think's going to happen? And I told you straight up and down. I said, they're going to, it's, it's going to, like, because this was Tuesday. This is the day after, uh, it was Tuesday. No, it was Wednesday. And it was the day after the election. And, and he asked me what was going to go, what was going to happen. And I said, they're going to, you know, meander for a little bit longer, but then an uh, outlet, one of the media outlets are just, just going to declare a winner. And I couldn't tell you which one it was because seriously, if you followed my political journey here in the great state of New Jersey, you know, I'm not a huge Chitterelli fan that I vote for him. Yeah, because of the, you know, that, 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 that. Uh, tie that they put, but that, that hamstringing, you know what I'm saying? That, that hand they put behind my back. Of course, yeah, I, whatever. Options are options, and I can't see her, but yeah. But either ways, I'm not the biggest fan of him, but e but either way, I do believe that, um, you know, Jersey, in particular, Essex County, is due for a, for, like, regardless of how the vote comes out, yeah, there should be a recount, there should be an audit, there should be a full forensic audit, and, you know, shoot, like, if any shenanigans are at play, they should be sniffed out, because one of the craziest things that I hear a ton of people discussing when they talk about elections, and, and we're just generally speaking, one of the red team's favorite talking points is like, well, you know, I mean, they, yeah, there's fraud, but not enough to turn an election, and it's just like, well, what the fuck is the point of the fraud then, damn it? I don't get like I don't get that. What's your acceptable amount of fraud, Red Teamer? By all means. What was that? Matt Rooney? Matt Rooney, yeah. Like what's your favorite what's your acceptable uh level of uh fraud? Because I personally think it's one of those things where we should be at a zero tolerance policy. But either ways, uh yeah, so I, the AP reports it, and then you know, Star Ledger. Uh, Asbury Park Press, uh, all the other, like, oh, everybody just took, just took it and run. And now they're um, encouraging uh, Chirelli here to concede, who honestly, like I said, I, the reason I didn't feel Chitterelli is because, you know, of how inauthentic that he is, but he said he's not going to concede. And like, you know, we'll see what happens once the votes are um, eventually tallied up, but they called it for this guy and let's be real i mean the message was sent between new jersey and virginia uh and how close all of these elections were quote unquote close all of these elections were messages were sent to a point where now you're like well you know i mean clearly there are people uh, he, he's now finally acknowledging the fact that there are people who are insanely unhappy and he's sincerely under um 
un- underselling it though. And speaking of underselling, hold on. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, so we also got the witness, the a legend in the making, that of Ed Durr, who seems to have dethroned Sweeney, putting the entire uh, blue team in a really interesting situation here in the state because, you know, Sweeney, of how powerful uh, Steve Sweeney is. He's the Senate uh, president. We've discussed him on the channel multiple times. Just check the Once Upon a New Jersey, Once Upon a Time in New Jersey uh, playlist. And yeah, yo, yo, there's plenty of references to Sweeney. One of the fun things that they will not tell you about this uh, race here, particularly that like, they play up the whole, oh, he spent $165. Now that's been refudiated, but either ways, I mean, he spent significantly less than the NJEA. See, last go around, the NJEA tried to uh, oust uh, Sweeney via the primaries, and they spent a record amount of money. The 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 one of the one of the largest and most fucked up teachers union in the entire nation spent record amount to get record amounts to get rid of Steve Sweeney here. And no, 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 a truck driver from Raymore and Flanagan. That's a little. I don't. You, you, if you're from, you you know what that is. You you know the commercials. If you're if you're ever if you've ever stepped anywhere near New Jersey, you've heard a Raymond uh, listening to the radio. You've heard a Raymore Flanagan uh, commercial. But uh, yeah, it, that's amazing. And honestly, Trump gave him a call and uh, reached out. And um, you know, like the uh, like I see the internet just. Like the one of the, the the how to the media, the moment he won, decided, oh yeah, they're gonna go through his uh, Twitter account and uh, find all these different homophobic and all the istophobes that they can find, and what he do, shut that shit straight down. <laughs> Respect, bro. Respect. And so we have this uh, gentleman who, I mean, not to be generic here, not to not to be, uh, you know, any, any istophobic myself, but, you know, resembles literally any uh, gentleman over the age of 50, any white guy over the age of 50 in South Jersey. Yeah. That he, 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 he closely, he more closely resembles them than, uh, Steve Sweeney here. And that's not a knock because those guys are awesome. Like as someone who's worked circuits and gotten to know just people of all stripes, man, like, yo, everybody got a cool doppelganger. I'll put it to you like that. But that's really fantastic. I mean, great. And so with, uh, Murphy's win, what they're doing, and I can't, I can't actually say much in uh, this video here, but uh, as you can see, uh, hold on, let me let me highlight the real problem. Um, what I, what I see as the problem with the initiatives that, particularly here in Essex County, that they're uh, pushing, and exactly where they're pushing it as well, because as you can see through the um, through uh, what I'm marking right here, you know what I'm saying? You got elementary schools, you got high schools, uh, Chancellor Ave, that's a, uh, elementary school, uh, 13th Ave, Chancellor Ave, uh, hold on, hold on, um, you know what I'm saying? Arts High, Isaha. High, <sighs> wicked shit, wicked shit, and just in case you, you I'm, that's the thing, Mm-mm, I ain't saying nothing. No, no, you ain't gonna, you gonna have to get this far in the um, video, but uh, yeah, it, like ultimately, go on, try and sit there and push it on the young while they uh have uh, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, once again, ninety nine percent survival rate, guys, ninety nine percent survival rate. And speaking of <laughs> Virginia, guys, good on you. Good on you, Virginia, because appara- because honestly, more than likely, you will not be uh, having this type of fun before you. So respect and salute. That being said, this is uh, Glenn Youngkin, uh, Winsome Sears, and I-, I know your first name begins with a J, my guy. He's the uh, the, the the attorney general, the, the attorney general, the, the new governor and the lieutenant governor. Now, that beautiful chocolatey uh black lady right there 
you Lieutenant Governor, congratulations. You know, she ran as a conservative. She ran a she ran or she ran on a red team, you know, and as someone who's witnessed how the progressive you know ideology has really uh yeah uh, has really infiltrated so much in the mainstream so much in the narrative thanks to you know a, a lot of chess being played during the obama years when it comes to the media and the like well you end up over here problem is here on msnbc with one of our favorite intellectuals how long is this clip Okay, so this clip this clip is only a minute, and I don't want to sit here and make this video super long. But, well, I have links in the description to videos of me just shitting on Eric Michael Di uh, Eric Michael Dyson, Michael Eric Dyson. Either ways, just this racist piece of shit, and he's on MSNBC with Joy Reid, another racist piece of shit. And let's just let, let, let's let's go. The problem is here they want they want white supremacy by ventriloquist effect. There is a black mouth moving, but a white idea through the running on the runway of the tongue of a figure who justifies and legitimates uh, the white supremacist practices. We. So there is this train of thought. And it's a very feminine train of thought, and that's why he's talking to. A quote unquote black woman here via Joy Reid. And it's that, you know, regardless of your behavior, regardless of how you present yourself, regardless of your actions, you know, like it should all be acceptable. Like they're like, oh, acting, like having some sort of decency to you. Have so, like, and, and I say it on the channel all the time, you know, white people don't have a monopoly on decency i don't know why this mindset and mentality is so pro actually i do know why but that would make this video just a million times longer but you know white people do not have a monopoly on decency at all and the ideas that you marxists and progressives and communists like to push is all degeneracy and white, black, green, blue, or purple, I mean, that, that, the, 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 that, that disdain for degeneracy is really a unifying force regardless of, regardless of political party or affiliation. Know that we can internalize in our own minds, in our own subconscious, in our own bodies, the very principles that are undoing us. So to have a black face uh, speaking in behalf of a white supremacist legacy is nothing new. And it. God, this guy, like these people, like honestly, I'm not in Virginia. I don't know what she ran on, but if she ran as a conservative and they won as conservatives, they won honestly it, it don't take that much i mean yunkin uh, uh instead unlike Chirelli, he actually you know what I'm saying oh thanks thank you trump for you know what I'm saying for shot like yo he, he was good to stand with uh with trump why because regardless of how messed up and jacked up you know a trump is or the, the the red team or the maga brand or anything else like that what you present as an alternative is just far more ugly you know what i'm saying it, it really is it's to the chagrin of those of us who study race that the white folk on the other side and the right wingers on the other side don't understand this is politics one on one and this is race not even one on one. What's beneath one on one? It's the it's the pre K of race. You should understand the fact that if you tell black people, look, I support a Negro. Look, there is a person of color that I am in favor of, and that person of color happens to undermine and undercut and subvert the very principles about which we are concerned you do yourself no service by pointing to them as an example of your racial progressivism golly all those words that said absolutely nothing worth a shit i despise this man i despise this channel i despise that woman but i actually love and appreciate you thank you for sticking out this long and this long ass video but your boy back all right and yeah it was going to take a minute because i've missed a lot of shit okay so <laughs> with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end <sighs> piece of shit we're gonna bring this one to an end 
all the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you, sub. Enjoy my fantastic voice. You want to get videos like this every single day? Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you don't like all the biggest fans of your boy over here. Very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Odyssey as well. Links in the description. Actually, go in the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments. Eric Michael Dyson's a piece of shit. Congratulations to Ed Durr, Glenn Youngkin, all like the, the, the like a lot of red teamers did make their way in um local races here in um great state of Jersey. I mean that it really was a shake up, man. I can go in to how now they're like the, the Dems are scrambling for a new Senate president and Skatari or Gill. It's there's a lot that's uh that I haven't said. Okay, so guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? And until the next one. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.